So we, we looked a lot of places. Uh, yeah. We looked at basically the top 50 municipalities across the country and, and some already had existing teams or some didn't have suitable venues or some, you know, the population wasn't right or, or the economic stability wasn't right or, or, mm-hmm. you know, they'd been burned before, whatever it may be. And, and we settled on the, the team, the six teams in 2019 that we felt comfortable and it, and it made sense to us. And since then, uh, you know, our desire to, to be in, in specific markets continues to grow. So, mm-hmm. and that's based on where we are now, where we're going. So adding Ottawa was a big piece. It's a great basketball market. It's a big market. Mm-hmm. Um, it's an influential market for us. Um, adding Montreal, which will come, you know, we'll announce later on this year is a, is a huge step for us because it opens up another province and a new fan base and a new language and, and, and everything. Um, and, and, you know, we want to get to Winnipeg. We want to get to Calgary. And we always wanted to be in the GTA, but we didn't feel like our group had the cachet to do it on our own. So all our teams, with the exception of Scarborough now, are, are owned by the league. And we're very selective in how we proceed because we want to make sure we can do that new uh, market justice. And with the GTA, uh, there's a lot of variables that go there that you've you got to know how to fit in. And, yeah. um, you know, I reached out a couple of years ago to Nico. Um, on it through Instagram, which he never got back to me. And I reminded him of that about a year later. But uh, so I, I, had, I, lo- <laughs> I do like that you said that because I had somebody ask me the other day, is it you know appropriate to reach out through Instagram? Hey, hey, t- get, hey, get their attention how you can. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying it worked, but it was a good kind of point to go back totally. when we finally met and said, hey, by the way, on August 3rd in 2019, I sent you this note. Um, <gasps> and it's just the way I was thinking. I'm like, I saw what their brand was and I didn't know Nico, who had never met, and he didn't know me, I'm sure. Uh, but I, I, I saw the parallels between you know the OVO brand and what was going on, and, and the OVO balance and all the tournaments to what we were doing, and it just made too much sense not to at least reach out. Well, that that didn't go anywhere um, until about a year later, when one of our assistant GMs kind of connected us, and I, he's he was obviously getting approached by by that group, and you know I quickly knew who it was without him telling me. And I, you know, I found it kind of funny. And then we just went through the process of getting to know each other. And I think right. that's the most important thing because we already knew right off the bat, we both wanted the same thing. We mm-hmm. both wanted Canada basketball to be successful at all levels. So we knew we were thinking from, you know, thinking the same way. And, and it, we just had to figure out how we can play in the same sandbox and if it made sense. And, and it did within, you know, oh, a couple yeah. meetings, we knew yeah, this is this is too mm-hmm. good not to investigate further, and and we're just scratching the surface right now. What this will become, mm-hmm. um, you know, the addition of Scarborough and that specifically that group with Nico and Sam and everybody affiliated, and it's there's a lot of people affiliated. You know, mm-hmm. and we don't we don't lead with the big names, but it's all part and parcel with what mm-hmm. we're doing uh, has really opened the door for us, and it really kicked open the door on the inter- on entertainment side on the cool side. Uh, we always thought we were cool, but I, I think, you know, they, they're taking us to a new level. Um, and it just made sense. And every meeting just became easier and, and, and better. And we started moving things forward. And yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It was, a, it was a sense of accomplishment to do it. We kept it quiet, which in sport is very difficult. Um, and it was a surprise to a lot because we hadn't even mentioned the idea of that happening and, and now it's happened and, and now there's a lot of work to do too to make sure it happens successfully. Chico, yeah. Chico.